Oh yeah, oh yeah, HBCUs, we are about to talk about this. Everybody destroyed Coach Prime. Oh, y'all destroyed him. Y'all, and it, it wasn't just Jackson. I got the J on. It wasn't just Jack. It was all HBCUs. It, look, Ed Reeves, y'all destroyed Ed Reeves. I want to see, I want to see the same energy, the same energy for Coach in the Swag, Coach, Coach Simmons. Coach Willie Simmons that did it the right way, the way that people say you're supposed to do it. He went all loud like Coach Prime. He went um disrespectful like Reed. He kept his head down, held his business, won games, won the swag, and finished the deal, won the celebration bowl. And the president of the school, this is what I'm hearing. The president of the school told his agent he didn't do nothing. You ain't did nothing. He went back and asked for a raise. He went back and asked for a raise in October. They said, she, she was like, you ain't did nothing. So after you won the, the, the swag, you know, he still ain't did nothing. And then here we go, the last hour, trying to hurry up and do a, like how you know when people die, they be trying to hurry up and raise money to bury somebody. We got to quit this, man. We got to quit. You not standing on business. You ain't standing on business. You not. How you got the best dude in the conference? Like he holding it down. Like the only thing that was standing in Coach Prime way was Simmons. Now Prime is gone. Simmons is building it all, and he's building the empire. Y'all had three dudes to transfer from Florida State to fam. Dog, do y'all understand what I'm saying? This could have been the takeover of Tallahassee. Now. Florida State let Tallahassee down. Fam come right behind and let Tallahassee down. The whole Tallahassee on suicide watch right now. Man, this your man, Big Tiger Man. Hit the like button and subscribe. If you have not hit the like button and subscribe, you just know you a hater. Just know you walk around, you a whole hater walk around. Every day, you a hater. You identify yourself as a hater if you ain't hit the like button yet. But look, HBCUs, y'all got to learn how to stand on business. I heard I was I was listening to uh Scotty and, and all stripper and, and the, the panel guys they had on there. Everybody was asking great points. Everybody hitting with the jabs and stuff. And I'm saying some of the same stuff over here on my side. I'm like, if y'all can go back and watch my old videos, I was saying this like three weeks, four weeks ago. Like, hey, hey, y'all better figure it out. How y'all like I'm saying you why do Lamar Jackson got the whole lot and fight for his money? Dak got the whole lot and fight for his money. Herbert ain't won nothing yet. I already knew deal. You know, like, Justin Fields going to have the whole lot fight for his money. So, when we in the other side, we got a whole lot fight for our money. Now, we on our side. Coach Prime never got a, re a new deal. Coach Simmons never got a new deal. They win in the swag. So, winning the swag don't mean nothing to the people in the swag. So, guess what that means? The people in the swag, the swag don't mean nothing to the swag. And if... My product don't mean nothing to me. I think it's trash. So it's never going to prosper. If I think my product is trash, if I don't value my product, why would other people value my product? Like, whoo. What's that song? They say I'm hopeless. Like a penny with a hole in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's us right Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know I got them vocals, baby. I got them vocals. Oh, uh, my beard in the way for me. To re I can't really get it out because my beard in the way. But look, y'all. Something ain't right, though. Something ain't right. Like I say, I feel like it's a coup going on. I feel like we got talking heads in place. Why don't you... Uh, either they either they just not smart or they just don't know. And I and and you can't not know now after what Coach Prime done. See, before I could say, oh, they don't know. They the educated smart folks and they don't no, y'all just dumb or you don't care or you a slick hater. Because if you got a winning coach, if now your ticket sales can go up, now your merchant you get you sell more merchandise. Now you bring more money into the school. You're always complaining about money. We got the best athletes on the planet. You got 
Florida State guys come to fail. You were about to break the code. That's all we needed was to break the code. So it's like looking like now, like, okay. Uh oh, he's about to get too good. He's about to get too good. Like I heard one man say on, on the Scotty Pat platform, he was like, HBCUs is a stepping stone, like all these other college, all these other conferences, we ain't no difference. No, that's not true. That's the only thing I had to go against right there. HBCUs got something that other conferences don't have. We have bands. And we have the coach. And it's the only place you can go when it if it, it feels like home for a lot of a lot of uh, uh melanated folks. You know, it's like cheers over there at HBCU. Now some some folks go to HBCUs and they feel out of place. Hey, 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 that's a conversation for another day. But what I do know is our administration has some kind of something going on where they, they don't like athletics. If that's the case, y'all, just get rid of y'all athletics. Just get rid of the athletics. If that's the case, because FAMU was in a position where they could have became a power. Just how Jackson was in a position, they could have became a power. Did either one of these schools offer this man a, a, a job, I mean, an extension before another school? Nope. Did any of these schools offer this man more money before any other school offered him more money? Nope. I mean, I see it. I see guys have an MVP year. White guy, he gets the extension. He gets the re-up. He don't even make it to the last year on his DF. He's playing good. Coaches, if they're coaching good, they get I ain't never heard Coach Saban waiting at the end trying to figure out. No. Soon as Kirby won, highest paid coach. Soon as Saban won, highest paid coach. Like, soon as you do something that other people don't do, they come say you. Our schools, let's see if he going to try to play chicken with you and see if it's trash, man. Stand on business. Stand on business. And and you failed. Whatever, whoever this lady is that, that didn't give him his money, you failed. Now, now it's reverse discrimination. You didn't pay him because he's a black man. <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll be back with another bank.